Another example, Pastor Stephen Bohr recently invited Kevin Paulson to be his speaker for his symposium. You may remember several years ago, the Washington Post published an article here blasting the Adventist Church for prohibiting alcohol and tobacco, but also supporting abortion, and named Kevin Paulson, you can see it right here, named Kevin Paulson as the biggest defender of the church's pro-abortion position. Stephen Bohr told me, he told me that he knows about Paulson's false claims. He said he does not agree with him, but wants him to be his speaker anyway. Now, take a moment and just stop and think about that. Here is a professing Seventh-day Adventist who openly, very publicly, has defended the killing of innocent children. And although Pastor Bohr knows full well what he has done and agrees that, yes, his teachings are false, yet he invites him anyway. Now, I have communicated with so many church leaders and administrators and Adventists on this topic that I do consider myself an expert. I know how Adventists think, and I know their excuses. I know all of their tricks that they use. So I asked Pastor Bohr why he doesn't invite people who support rape. If someone supported hurting or abusing children, Pastor Bohr would never, he would never in a million years invite them to speak even if they had 100 PhDs but if someone supports killing children and even if he knows that they are false teachings yet he'll go ahead and invite them anyway so I asked Pastor Bohr some really good questions and he responded so I said thank you for the response may I have permission to share your response in the next video this would be great so that everyone can hear your side and everyone can know what you have to say usually Adventist leaders like yourself who give these type of responses never want their excuses shared openly because they don't want everyone to know what they really think. But I trust that you stand by your words. I will assume that you want me to share this publicly and I will share it unedited. And guess what? Suddenly Pastor Stephen Bohr got upset and told me that I cannot tell you what he told me. Now, I wish so much, I wish so much that everyone could read what he sent me. I wish that you could all read his emails. To all of you who tell me that this man is a great defender of Bible truth who courageously stands against error, go ahead and contact him yourself and ask him to release all of the emails. Tell him to release the emails unedited so that you can make a decision for yourself. And to repeat, as I've said many times before, this sin in our church is public. It is a public false teaching. The church has been blasted publicly in the media repeatedly. All of our public leaders and public evangelists say nothing. Those who publicly defend this sin are honored as experts that we are supposed to listen to. Beginning January 25th, we are going to broadcast this on our youth YouTube channel. I would encourage you all to go to Secrets Unsealed YouTube channel and tune in beginning on January 25th. It will be a great blessing to your spiritual life. Pastor Stephen Bohr publicly invited this man and publicly invited everyone to go listen to him. So this is not a private matter. This is a public problem that needs a public response. Furthermore, check this out. The irony is that Kevin Paulson spoke on, I mean, you literally can't make this stuff up. Read it for yourself. The abuse of Ellen White's writings. But this is a man who defends killing children by abusing Ellen White's writings. I already made an entire video here refuting all of his false claims and distortions. He is literally accusing other people of doing exactly what he is doing. The people in the Adventist church who teach the error of killing children, that is their MO. That is exactly what they do. Accuse others of what they themselves are doing. And Pastor Stephen Bohr wants us to believe that he is an expert. Do you know what this is? This is crazy. To all of you watching this video, please contact Pastor Bohr, write, email, call, whatever. Just contact him and in a very nice, very pleasant, respectful manner, ask him to release the emails that he sent to me. It is reprehensible to give the pulpit to anyone who defends hurting children. This is disgusting. So please release the emails. Thank you.